It's day five in Canada where everything is 50-50 English and French, which means there's a 50% chance that I'll not use any of the French I learned in high school still. What's going on everybody? Je m'appelle Brian. You're watching Anglin Anarchy. That's about as much French as you're gonna get out of me because I uh, simply don't remember most of it. Um, we are fishing Eagle Lake and yesterday uh, it was a little rough. Um, up to this point though, we've done fairly well. Uh, Trevor behind me here has a couple nice mid 40 inch muskies. I've got a 47 and a 50. Numbers aren't necessarily there, but uh, we're having fun trying. At least that's what we're trying to tell ourselves. Uh, we got up fairly early this morning. Already had a couple few follows. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see if we can't expand upon that and actually get one of these things to bite a bait so we can show it to you. So let's do that, shall we? All right, I'm gonna start off throwing a mid Medusa. This one's a little chewed up. I've been using it here and there uh, this week, but I'm gonna throw that with a one ounce deep threat weight on the front end. I have a Moab 9-foot assault stick, 2020, paired with 500 tranks, and I have 100-pound fins 40 braid, which I like quite a lot, and it does a nice job. So that's what I'm throwing for now. Might toss a baby beaver later. Trevor's throwing a Custom X Mini and a little A-Rig action potentially later we'll see we'll see about that but that's what we're tossing right now doesn't feel big no could be running towards you It's a musky. They exist. <laughs> you found one. That was just a really light bite, too. Yeah. <laughs> a little piece of PVC pipe there. <laughs> a little 37. 37, okay. That is funny. <laughs> we don't get much more skinny than that. I was going to say, that is rare. I needed that meal. That is rare for an Eagle Lake muskie to be that skinny. <laughs> Not much of a musky, but a uh, musky nonetheless. And we needed that after yesterday. And even this morning, I didn't save hardly any of the follows we had. They were so low, but we've, we've seen seven fish this morning. We've only been out for maybe two hours, but uh, they just didn't really seem all that active. But uh, we finally got one, so that's cool. Fish! Right there. <laughs> oh. That was a cool hit. I don't know if that uh, stretches the tape to the magic mark, but it's an upper 30s anyway. 
quit trying to swim away. Yeah, jeez. Once again, that Medusa is gone. That Medusa is gone. I wonder if we're going to have to chop some hooks again. Yeah, you did a good job of eating that, didn't you, dummy? <laughs> oh my goodness. What are we going to do with you? Once again, that Medusa is absolutely gone. And unfortunately, she's got herself a little bit of a pickle here. Here's that one. <laughs> My goodness, little girl, you, I don't have a way of really getting down in there. Very good. Oh, there it came out. It just popped out. Okay. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this big girl. Not as big as I was thinking it was. But uh, we'll see. It is 37. So another nice big pike. We'll get her released. There we go. <laughs> I said I just like to see it. Go, go. Yeah. <laughs> I never, I didn't get that grip, but then I had my thumb in her mouth again. All right. Like I did last time. Should just put her back? Yeah. Okay. All right, folks, after a little bit of a break this afternoon, uh, catch up on sleep after getting up nice and early and a little bit of lunch, we're back out after it. This morning, 
was not bad. Jim got a nice fish, Trevor got a skinny one, <laughs> and I caught a nice pike. And we saw 18 follows. Um, I'm probably not going to use that many of them because none of them were that interesting. There were a lot of low, lazy, just the follows. So, uh, but it was nice seeing that many fish. Gives us an idea of where to go this afternoon, and uh, hopefully, we've got some weather coming in, and hopefully, that sparks a little bit of interest in the muskies for us. Fish. Are you kidding me? I can't do anything other than catch a frickin' pike. Huh? I don't think he ate it. Did he like the other one? Not quite as much, but it's still The entire body's in the mouth. <laughs> uh, frick. Another big pike on a Medusa that absolutely ate it. And I have a feeling we're going to be cutting hooks again. <laughs> Just freaking ate that thing. Now let's see. That one's easy. And that one right there. There, we got lucky. All right, I don't think it's 40, but it's just another nice pike. Another great Eagle Lake pike, giving us some fun while we're not catching muskies. We're seeing plenty of muskies. It is 39, so very close to the 40 inch mark. We'll just bop them back in here. All right, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've started pushing pike away a lot more because if you don't, they just sit there and splash anyway. So good riddance, buddy. Thanks for the thrill, but let's get a muskie. There we go. Why didn't you eat that, dummy? It was literally... It was right there. Yeah, you, you you oh, yeah. You it. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Fish. Man, it was the first couple pops out there. The yeah. Come on, girl, just hold on. That's good head shakes. Okay, here she is.
Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Okay. There we go. It was like that's pop, how pop, easy boom. it is, right? Yeah, I guess so. There we go. Ready to take a look at her? Yep. All right, girl, behave for me. That's not behaving. <laughs> oh, man. Not a giant, but a super fun fish. Man, she crushed that bubba out there. Stop it. She is 44. Right there. All right. 44 incher. All right, let's just let her go up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. Nice fish, beautiful fish. All right. Thanks, girl. Wow, finally paid off. That's, we've been waiting for something like that to happen all day and uh, hopefully something else like that happens again because we've got really good conditions. Storm's coming in. Um, might not be able to fish tomorrow, so we have to capitalize on the time we have now. All right, folks, that fish, uh, courtesy of the Bubba again. This is the one I was using last year up here on Eagle Lake in August and got all those really nice fish. Um, I love these. Nice, tight little walk. Doesn't glide too far. Keeps a nice straight line. I think it helps those fish key in on it a little bit better. And uh, that was really fun. Way out at the end of the cast, that one hit. Do I have another one back there? Yeah. I think she spooked at Jim Casting. Dude, there's fish all over the place in here right now. Holy cow. All right, folks, uh, it's time to get off the lake. It's a half hour past sunset, so no more fishing on Eagle Lake for us. But it uh, gives us a chance to go in, rest up, and do this hopefully all again tomorrow. Although, uh, the way the weather is looking, not so good. Uh, but we'll see what Mother Nature throws at us. Hopefully we can get out between storms. But uh, today, call it a win. A couple big pike, and we each got a muskie. Um, so yeah, I mean, sometimes that's the best you can ask for, especially on Eagle Lake. It can be a tough body of water, despite being world-class uh, musky fishing and everything fishing, quite honestly. Um, Want to let you know, we are staying at Cole Grove's Eagle Lake Lodge. Lovely little place to stay if you're looking for some place to stay up here. So I will leave their particulars in the description below. So with that, we're going to go in, get rested, and uh, see what tomorrow brings. But uh, I appreciate every single one of you watching this mess. And I'll see you on the next video.